Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the given straight line whose equation is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 and the parameters a and b are related by the equation a square plus b square equal to c square. Now, let's take b square from the equation which is c square minus a square and b will be c square minus a square whole power 1 by 2. Now we are going to substitute this in the given straight line. So it is x by a plus y by b becomes c square minus a square whole power 1 by 2 which is equal to 1. Now we are going to name this as our first equation and we are going to differentiate this first equation with respect to the constant a. When we differentiate with respect to the constant a, x and y are treated as a constant and a is a variable. So now x will stay as it is 1 by a differentiation is minus 1 by a square. In the same way y stays as it is and this term when we take to the numerator it is c square minus a square whole power minus 1 by 2. So when we differentiate this becomes minus 1 by 2 into c square minus a square whole power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 and this differentiation by chain rule into minus 2a which is equal to 0. So we can cancel this 2 and 2 and this minus and minus. So this is minus x by a square and plus y into c square minus a square whole power. This is 1 by 2 with the minus sign and again I split it to 2 power c square minus a square power minus 1 and we also have a. Let's write that a here and on the other side it is 0. Now once again this is minus x by a square and here it is y a whole division c square minus a square power half and again it is c square minus a square power 1 which is equal to 0 on the other side. Now we shall take this term to the other side. So it is minus x by a square plus y a, actually we are taking this to the other side, so we shall take equal to minus y a whole division c square minus a square whole power half c square minus a square. Now we shall bring this a to the other side, so minus x by a cube equal to y by c square minus a square whole power half into c square minus a square. So we shall cancel both the minus and now we are going to rearrange the term in such a way we are getting this expression so that this can be replaced as 1. So we need x by a. So this a cube is split into a into a square. In the same way, y by c square minus a square whole power half. This is one term and we also have another term. Now we are going to rewrite this as x by a whole division a square. Similarly, y by c square minus a square whole power half whole division c square minus a square. Now, we add both numerator, so we get x by a plus y by c square minus a square whole power half whole division. When we add both the denominators, we get c square a square plus c square minus a square. We can cancel this and this entire numerator becomes 1 from our equation 1 which we have already mentioned. So this becomes 1. And once again, this can be taken as x by a cube equal to 
y by c square minus a square whole power half plus 1. This is power 1. So total power half plus 1 is 3 by 2 which is equal to 1 by c square. Now we shall take the first and last term. So x by a cube equal to 1 by c square and a cube equal to x into c square and a will be x into c square whole power 1 by 3. In the same way, when I take these two terms and cross multiply, c square minus a square whole power 3 by 2 equal to y into c square. And from this, c square minus a square will become y c square whole power 2 by 3. So these two we are going to substitute in our original line equation which is x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So it is x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So now x by a is x c square whole power 1 by 3 and plus y by but b is already replaced here as c square minus a square half. So from this let us write that equation here for clear understanding x by a plus y by c square minus a square whole power half equal to 1. So we have y square c square whole power 2 by 3 that is c square minus a square value then again we also have power half which is equal to 1. We can cancel these two. Now let us take this power separately. So x power 1 by 3 c power 2 by 3. Again sorry this is plus y by y power remaining is 1 by 3 after getting this 2 cancelled. So y power 1 by 3 c power 2 by 3 equal to 1. We shall take 1 by c power 2 by 3 common. So x by x power 1 by 3 plus y by y power 1 by 3 equal to 1. Now if we take this to the numerator it is x power 1 minus 1 by 3 plus y power 1 minus 1 by 3 equal to c power 2 by 3 we can take to the other side as c power 2 by 3 in the numerator here. So finally this is x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to c power 2 by 3. This is the required equation of the envelope.